I also posted the uh, meeting minutes. So if you're um, attending, please add your name there. Is uh, Sylvain on? I know some folks are on vacation, so hey. Hello. Hey, I, I appreciate it. I know, I it's apologize on timing. It was hard to get everyone. No, it's fine. Yeah, okay, Thanks. cool. I know Tammy is also on vacation, so I don't know if she was gonna be able to make it, but we'll, we'll see. I think she said she was gonna catch the next one. Yeah, I know. I know, you know, I, I don't blame her at all. <laughs> Yeah, it, it's hard to schedule everyone, but uh, this will be fine. You know, these, these things always have like humble beginnings to start. So <laughs> we'll give it another uh, minute and then, and then I'll get started. Oh, cool. Uh, got someone from uh, Halowski. Okay, cool. Awesome. I'm talking to some of your folks tomorrow, uh, Mik Mikhailish. I don't know if you're on mute. I guess Adrian Carcroft here just joined. Hey, Adrian, how's it going? Very good. We'll Thanks get started. this together. Uh, no worries. We'll get started uh, in a minute. It's a bit of an adventure to kind of schedule everyone, but uh, to kind of get things bootstrapped, this this will work out. Is Mikhail from from Bloomberg here or no? Or were you on mute? All right, I'll assume he's on mute or, or on the phone. This is Nora Jones here as well. Uh, say that again. Uh, I'm here as well. This is Nora Jones. Oh, Nora Jones, cool. Pleasure, pleasure to meet you. Nice to meet you too. Yeah. I'll put you on the attendee list. Give me a second. <clears throat> Hey, this is Deepak Srinivasan. Cool, good okay. to meet you, Deepak. Hey, good to see you all. Uh, I'm from Capital One. Okay, cool. Make sure to add yourself on the Google Doc uh, meeting minutes, please. I don't see you there yet. Sure. Hey, everyone. This is uh, Brian Hammonds from AWS. Awesome. Great to, great to meet you, Brian. Yeah, nice to meet you too, Chris. Hi everyone, this is Karthik from OpenABA. Good, good to meet you, Karthik. Thanks, Chris. Same All here. right, uh, so uh, it's about five minutes past, generally kind of the buffer we give folks. So uh, I, I kind of want to thank everyone for attending this kind of uh, bootstrapping uh, meeting for building a chaos engineering working group uh, in particular. Um, I'd like, kind of like to thank, um, you know, Sylvain and, and Tammy who couldn't make it because she's on vacation to kind of uh, prodding uh, us to kind of do something. And, you know, we've had a lot of members in the CNCF community that kind of have built their own kind of homegrown uh, chaos engineering approaches and have asked the CNCF to kind of come up together to see if we kind of get people together and share practices, tools, and kind of see if we kind of do something to help improve a state of chaos engineering across the industry. So I'll, I'm going to kind of, you know, dive in and go through a presentation introducing kind of the goals of the group, uh, you know, kind of uh, what are expected outcomes and, you know, how we'll be forming this over the next uh, few months. But before we fully get started, um, I might as well introduce myself. So my name is Chris Anzik. I have the fun job of um, running the CNCF, uh, you know, Cloud Native Computing Foundation. That's part of the Linux Foundation. So it's been a kind of an interesting journey seeing this uh, foundation grow over the last couple and a half years. Um, so we kind of have all the major cloud providers involved uh, with a variety of kind of startups that are operating in the container and cloud native space. So, um, you know, that's me. Uh, so I know some of you have mentioned your names, but I'd love to kind of go around and, uh, you know, feel free to say something a little bit about yourself, where you work and kind of how you're involved with uh, chaos engineering. Well, I, I uh, uh, yeah, yeah. Okay, uh, I'm Chris Short. I work with SJ Technologies. Uh, we do some DevOps consulting type work. We're big in security right now. So I'm trying to uh, drive chaos engineering as a way to 
enhance security within organizations. Thank you. Hey, I'm Michael Keogh. I'm from LinkedIn. Uh, I'm a partner to our Water Bear team, which does a variety of different resilience or chaos engineering efforts within the company. Thanks. Hi, my name is Brian Hammonds. Um, I'm a solutions architect at AWS. So I was over at CNCF and was able to kind of sit in uh, to one of the workshops and I really resonated with me. So uh, I'm actually a Kubernetes uh, SME over here. So I want to kind of see how, um, how it kind of applies with, with that type of uh, containerized methodology and kind of explore that a little bit more. Awesome, Brian, thanks. Uh, Paul Jones, uh, software engineer with Capgemini. Um, I've basically been using uh, some chaos engineering tools on projects, so KubeMonkey, Powerful Seal, uh, Spring Boot, Chaos Monkey, things like that. Uh, spoke to Sylvain at KubeCon last week, so really interested to just get more involved, really. Hey, so Adrian Cockcroft here, uh, AWS. I've uh, been talking about chaos engineering and um, the architectures for this for, for a while. Um, and been talking to you know, Sylvain, I'm also the uh, board rep for CNCF. And I've been working with Arun, um, Arun Gupta, the two of us are kind of the, the key CNCF people at AWS. So glad to see this come together. Hi, Nora Jones. Um, I work at Netflix on the chaos engineering team and we're part of the greater resiliency engineering org. Um, I've been doing chaos engineering for the past couple of years now and um, Netflix is definitely interested in um, getting a little bit more in the getting a little bit more involved in this chaos community and seeing what it's about. Yeah, hi everyone. This is Karthik. Um, I contribute to the OpenEBS project. Uh, OpenEBS is a container-based storage solution for Kubernetes. So I'm part of the DevOps and the E2E team. Um, so I'm, I've used tools like Chaos Cube, Pumba, et cetera, before. And um, I just chatted up with Sylvain uh, before KubeCon, was really interested with what uh, we were going to do with uh, Chaos Engineering. Um, I'm looking at Chaos Engineering as a tool to, uh, as a method to test the resiliency of the storage solution, um, not just for OpenEBS, for stateful workloads in general. Oh, thank you. Cool. I'm uh, Ryan Dooley. Uh, I work at a large fruit stand in Cupertino, um, and we're working <laughs> on uh, building out a cast engineering practice. Well, thank you. Hey, everyone. This is uh, Deepak Srinivasan. Uh, I'm from uh, Capital One. I'm a software engineer here. Uh, so uh, chaos engineering has been evolving in our organization uh, here and, and we had been doing some exercises at production level. Uh, we have a homegrown uh, solution as well, but I'm also interested in partnering with the community and then uh, talk about the best practices and collaborate here. Thank you. Hi everyone, uh, Michael Daniello. I work at Carbon Black as an SRE. Uh, I'm interested in building out chaos engineering within our org. And uh, I, also, I was also at KubeCon in Copenhagen, got excited about this stuff, so here I am. Cool, thank you. Uh, hello, my name is Reda Benze. I'm VP engineer in Streamut, uh, but also CNCF ambassador in France. I'm managing the meetup uh, at Paris, CNCF Paris, and helping the community to grow in France, uh, all the initiatives around also uh, car engineering. Oh, thank you. My name is Matthew Brahms. I'm a SRE here in Austin, and I heard about this for the first time at SRECon this year, and would hope to build out a program here and see how I can help out the CNCF. Thank you, Matthew. Hey. I'm Matt Fornaseri. I'm a CTO and co-founder at Gremlin, which is aimed at bringing uh, chaos engineering to the masses. I got my roots in chaos engineering back in 2010 over at Amazon when we were running game days on the retail website. So that was real fun to see back in uh, the early, early days. Awesome. Thank you. Uh, do we miss anyone? Anyone else? Um, hey, uh, this is uh, my name is Miko. Sorry. No. Um, go ahead. 
Hey, uh, this is Amit. I'm from OpenEBS, uh, the same thing team that Gothic belongs to. Uh, I too am looking at chaos engineering from storage perspective. Uh, how can we build resilient storage uh, with chaos engineering and uh, practice and tools? Thanks. Cool, cool. thank you. Go, go ahead, Nikolai. Um, so, yeah, Nikolai, uh, everybody calls me Miko, so go ahead, call me Miko. I work at Bloomberg. Um, uh, we uh, work on a microservices platform internally, kind of like uh, AWS Lambda for the rest of the company. And we started doing chaos engineering about two years ago. And uh, in Austin at KubeCon, we open sourced the Powerful Seal. I was the main contributor to that. And yeah, um, nice to meet you guys. Hey, this is Sylvain. Um, so I'm just here to balance Americans versus Europeans. <laughs> <laughs> uh, no, I'm um, CTO of uh, Kios IQ and I'm you know, the main maintainer of Kios Toolkit. And I was doing those stalks you saw at, uh, at Copenhagen. There you go. Thank you. Did we miss anyone? All right. All right. Cool. Thank you, everyone, for taking time to intro. I'm going to go share my screen right now to see if I can make people's lives a little bit uh, easier. Um, see everything okay? Sorry for those folks that are on the phone. I'll take that as a yes. Yes, yes, yes. Okay, cool. Uh, so, yeah, agenda. So, uh, yeah. yeah, we did all introductions. Uh, thanks, everyone, for taking time to introduce them, um, themselves. Um, I'm going to kind of dive in, talk a little bit about a uh, little background on CNCF for, for those that are kind of new to the community. Uh, then I'm going to dive in on kind of why we're doing um, and spinning up this effort uh, in CNCF as a working group. Uh, and then kind of just some basic logistics of, um, you know, setting up a recurring meeting time and agenda. I know since we have uh, kind of a mixed audience of North America and Europe, and, um, you know, I, I even know we have some members in China that are interested in attending, it's going to be difficult to, to find a time, but we should kind of uh, put our, you know, uh, foot down and, and just get something recurring so we kind of keep moving forward with this. Uh, and then just as kind of opening up the question to kind of share what people uh, feel um, about this group. So um, feel free to stop me at any time if you have any questions, um, but um, let's, let's kind of get going. So we did our introductions, uh, chaos engineering. So, you know, like I said, you know, you know, me being kind of new to this uh, space, uh, it's been interesting to kind of see the interest in uh, the CNCF membership community, uh, you know, around chaos engineering. And, you know, from, from my perspective, uh, you know, chaos engineering is basically table stakes for building like large cloud native uh, resilient systems. You kind of really need to have a chaos engineering practice to ensure that these systems are, are resilient. So I've been doing some, you know, explorations in the community, learning a little bit more about the tools, the history and so on. I found this crazy, uh, you know, Coggle diagram that someone put together, kind of linking the different community and different tools out there. So huge thank you to whoever do uh, whoever kind of put that together because it kind of helped uh, helped me a little bit to kind of understand uh, some of the history and and folks involved in the community. Um, so a little background for uh, folks of you know what is CNCF. Um, we were founded about uh, oh boy, it's been like about uh, two and a half three years, uh, kind of late December. 2015, uh, you know, basically with the intention to be a home for Kubernetes, which is a fairly popular orchestration platform, but also uh, to be a home for more than just Kubernetes. So uh, essentially the idea was to promote the notion of cloud native computing, which essentially means running services, package and containers at high scale. And, uh, you know, we've kind of grown to accommodate a variety of projects and working groups um, to kind of help uh, you know, accommodate um, this, this mission of cloud native computing. Um, we have over 200 members, a variety of companies involved. Um, we have folks like, you know, AWS, you know, you know uh, rest of the cloud providers, bunch of startups. I'm not going to kind of dive in there. There's really no interest for me <laughs> to talk about that since I spend a lot of time talking about that. But feel free, you can see all that stuff uh, on, our, on our website. Um, so was, did someone have a question? Sorry, I heard someone pipe up. All right, I'll, I'll assume no. So, uh, you know, moving on, um, you know, really two things, you know, we're a neutral home for collaboration, um, you know, across companies, organizations, um, you know, whether they're, you know, academic or research focused or just businesses. So um, we have a set of values that I expect, um, you know, as a working group to kind of follow that is consistent, um, you know, 
with uh, CNCF. So I listed them here on this slide, but you know, simply just basic things like, you know, we're open, we're fair, there's kind of no pay to play things. We have a strong technical identity associated with our efforts. We're platform and cloud um, agnostics uh, and, and so on. So just something to keep in mind as uh, we kind of spin this up. So CNCF working groups, uh, you know, we've had a handful of these within CNCF, um, you know, essentially, the purpose of these things are basically to study a particular focus area and kind of make recommendations to the wider community and our kind of technical board on, uh, you know, you know, potential project ideas, uh, maybe producing kind of a landscape of the different technologies out there, or even kind of like a, a white paper just detailing like, what is this particular um, you know, uh, topic area. So just to kind of give you a concrete example of kind of how this works within CNCF is uh, we recently spun up a serverless working group. Uh, it's probably been about a year. Uh, uh, you could feel free to look at it on GitHub, but essentially they produced two things that I would kind of like this uh, working group to, to kind of um, help produce. One was a simple like kind of lexicon white paper of different terminology um, involved in chaos engineering, you know, uh, from talking to a lot of folks um, on this call and within the community, I've realized like there's even different, different aspects of chaos engineering. You know, I was introduced to, there's some crazy folks kind of using, um, uh, doing like security focused chaos engineering. Well, they're purposely introducing security issues to kind of see, um, you know, how their uh, systems react, which is, I thought was pretty cool. Um, so basically working to kind of define these different areas in, in a paper that we kind of share with the wider community would be awesome. Um, you could kind of look what the serverless folks did. I think it's kind of a good example to go on. Another thing is um, uh, almost uh, every CNCF member that has a fairly large cluster of, uh, you know, uh, a Kubernetes cluster, or whatever they're using, generally has created a tool. So like the folks from, uh, Bloomberg, Richter from Miko have created a power, <clears throat> powerful seal. Um, there's a bunch of other ones um, out there that kind of been created. So just kind of indexing and cataloging the different solutions out there. We have this notion of a landscape uh, in CNCF. So uh, I linked to it. Uh, if you go to s.cncf.io, you could see all the serverless ones, but I'd love to produce something uh, for the different chaos engineering uh, projects out there that kind of have been collected and built um, you know, over, over the years. So um, I'm looking for help, especially from this community to kind of help this, uh, kind of build this out. Uh, so before I move uh, forward, oh, this is the chaos, or this is the serverless landscape example, if you kind of want to see like a concrete of how this looks like. So before I kind of move forward, does anyone have any questions for me on CNCF or kind of um, how we expect this uh, to work? I've got one, Chris. Um yeah, sure. How are you, as you know, is the CNCF monitoring, when I say monitoring, how do you drive the, the, the working group? Do you leave the working group to the, their thing, you know, on their side or do you, you know, how does that work basically? So, so yeah, so generally the work, the, the way it works is, uh, you know, we're essentially what we consider in bootstrapping phase. So we're getting together a bunch of people that are interested in forming a working group. Uh, you know, I from the CNCF staff will kind of help drive uh, this kind of in the bootstrapping phase eventually. Um, we'll have someone from our technical uh, board, we call it the TOC, that will sponsor the working group and kind of be involved with it. But kind of like when we're in this like bootstrapping formation phase, I'll be doing a lot of work paired with, um, you know, who el whoever else is interested in helping drive this. Sometimes we have a, like a working group chair. So if there's folks that are interested working with me in kind of, um, you know, setting up the basic agenda, meeting minutes and all, kind of all the boring stuff behind the scenes, I'm more than happy to take volunteers. But um, I'm happy to kind of drive things while we kind of get things um, grown. And I know that uh, I think Sylvain and Tammy have both uh, expressed interest in, in helping kind of uh, chair, kind of move things along, but uh, I'm more than happy to take volunteers uh, from the community. Does, does that answer your question a little bit or, or no? It does, yeah, thanks. Cool. So, um, so moving on. So, you know, I, I kind of talked about this a little bit of why we're essentially uh, doing this. Like I mentioned, like, uh, you know, at any scale, most of our members kind of have experienced either, you know, with chaos engineering or written their own tools. Um, I've listed a couple, at least from, you know, that are Kubernetes centric, but there's, you know, people have obviously built chaos engineering tools, you know, on all different types of systems, but small list um, here. Um, the other kind of, uh, I guess, you know, selfish interest I have is I've noticed a trend where there are cloud providers out there that have started to offer uh, chaos engineering APIs for a lack of a better 
terms. So like, you know, Azure, for example, has like this, uh, you know, chaos engineering API where you could start chaos, stop chaos and produce a report. I don't know if other cloud providers are offering this. I have not dived in. I don't know, maybe Adrian uh, could share from the, from the AWS side, but I, I, I expect this to be a continuing trend and it would be great if we could kind of get together and maybe, you know, help, you know, you know, write out a spec or have a kind of a standard interface in place potentially. I don't know. Um, there's also startups out there like Gremlin, KSIQ that are kind of interested in offering chaos engineering as a service. So, you know, one big aspect of CNCF is we would like to ensure that we could build stuff that, you know, aids, uh, you know, portability and makes the lives of our members and community easier and potentially trying out these different tools. So that's kind of my selfish, uh, you know, point of view. And also in general, chaos engineering is still kind of new to a lot of folks. And I think we could do a great job in kind of spreading, you know, and formalizing this practice, at least within the CNCF community and wider industry. So those are my, uh, you know, kind of selfish goals. Uh, Sylvain, I don't know if you want to kind of speak to this or, you know, Adrian, you want to comment on kind of your background because you've been involved uh, in this uh, for a long time, but I kind of love to hear, you know, other, uh, other folks' thoughts um, on this, on this idea. So it's Adrian here. Um... There are some AWS capabilities that aren't very well known, which let you do chaos things like the Aurora MySQL database has some SQL queries, which will actually cause nodes to fail and partitions to happen. So there's some services that would do that. We've also got some ways to do uh, zone isolation that we need to kind of look at. We just came up with something recently where you can basically cut off a zone from an API perspective. So not exactly the sort of start chaos kind of thing, but I think we're, you can gather together a number of capabilities to come up with something like that. This is, this is very helpful. And um, I think it is a good summary of, of where we are right now. So it looks, looks good to me. Well, cool. th thank you. It's news to me. So I'll definitely write, write some of that stuff down and, and reach out to kind of help, help collect collating a lot of this information. Uh, anyone else uh, want to want to make comments on on this idea? What they've seen, Sylvain? Uh, no, I think you've done a beautiful job of covering it all. Um, I was I wonder with all the um, Kubernetes centric or oriented uh, mm -hmm. open source tool, if there is an interest from the community and from the Kubernetes project to have actually something, you know, na native inside the. the platform. I, I, so, you know, our attitude, at least within CNCF is, you know, we're not a king making organization, so we're not going to have like the one only tool. Um, I think specking out uh, an API or, or something like that could be interesting, but, um, you know, it, it takes time uh, to kind of do these things, at least within Kubernetes, we'd have to go formalize like a SIG or working group with in that community and kind of push it. But for right now, um, you know, I'd rather for us just to like, Let's get the right people together, share kind of, kind of the tools out there, um, you know, what the different cloud providers are working on, what the startups are doing, and kind of go from there before necessarily targeting a specific project like um, Kubernetes. Because, you know, I, honestly, I'd love to see some of our other CNCF projects um, kind of offer chaos engineering specific um, abilities. At least that's how I view things. And I and, know and that CNCF is more than just Kubernetes. There are other kind of orchestration systems out there that are involved uh, in, in, the, in the community. Sounds good. Yeah, I think that's right. Um, there is, uh, there's definitely, you're sort of gathering together lots of capabilities. And so it's not necessarily that you need to say there is a feature here that implements chaos engineering. Yes. It's more that, yes, some of it is sort of a bit of IP tables, it's a bit of killing nodes, a bit of you know, doing configuration changes. So mostly it's manipulating the configuration in certain ways. And then, you know, if you look at some of the chaos, Toolkit, it's basically having a hypothesis that if you make this change, that something else won't change. You know, hopefully, you know, you can break this thing and nobody will notice. Is the general idea of this? So setting that up is something that we can sort of you know, gather together. Yeah. Are there any kind of like end users on the call, like Bloomberg, Miko, for example? Like, is this kind of or uh, or Nora? Like, is this something that's just like ingrained in the company that you just kind of do this on a you know active basis? Uh, hey Chris, uh, this is uh, Uma from uh, uh, OpenEBS. Uh, okay. Good to meet you. So uh, yes, uh, at OpenEBS, Chaos Engineering, kind of uh, you know the core theme, and we started a project called uh, Litmus. Mm -hmm. and the idea also is uh, you know uh, to integrate the entire workflow in uh, as per the Chaos Engineering 
Um, okay. We're at the beginning, and uh, this is a good good start, I guess. You know, you summarized it, and we are planning to contribute as much as possible from the stateful uh, workloads perspective. Okay. But I'll, I'll take a look at it and see, you know, uh, overall how to uh, put things together, and uh, okay. I'll be happy to volunteer a little bit more on yep. you know, and defining a landscape um, okay. with, from others. Yeah. Okay. So thank you for. Uh, Cool. Um, hey, this is Nora here. Yeah. It's pretty ingrained in the Netflix culture at, at this point. You know, people do expect that things will fail. Um, however, that's not to say that, like, we have new chaos tools that we're building and trying to implement all the time. And okay. those all require a new degree of, like, internal evangelism, internal adoption and in certain ways. Um, so, like, Chaos Monkey right now, is turned on by default, right? Some people don't even know that they have that enabled on their service, but you know, a, a new tool we have um, is an opt-in model right now. And hopefully eventually we will evolve it to an opt-out model, but um, all of our chaos tools operate under the assumption, if I run this experiment or if I run this chaos test, um, I expect I will be resilient to it. If we know ahead of time that you know, this will cause customer pain or it sure. is going to cause some sort of pain. There's a definitely a different process there. Okay, cool. Thank you. I think there's two, two layers to this <laughs> that might be worth separating out. There's, uh, I think with Kubernetes, the particularly interesting thing is that there are APIs which you can use to manipulate applications. Mm -hmm. So what, at one level, what you're trying to do is say, I want my application to be resilient to various types of chaos. Yeah. And there, those are mostly hitting the Kubernetes APIs or maybe uh, container APIs or network APIs to disrupt certain things within the application itself. Mm -hmm. So that's one area that is particularly interesting. Mm -hmm. um, and it's also, I think it's interesting for me because it's a, a much more portable way of doing this rather than customizing this for every, every customer and every place and every vendor, yeah. every, every provider, we get something that's portable and that helps commoditize the patterns better yeah the other layer is kubernetes itself yep. and we want to be able to do chaos uh, at the to the control plane to the nodes and say we have a multi-zone and eventually there's federation and multi-region we need chaos engineering to uh, basically attack kubernetes itself to prove that this is the, the see what the platform does under certain types of failure mode and it's really got nothing to do with the application level at that point you, know, you want to make sure yep. the application keeps running but I think those are two different layers, and it mm -hmm. may be worth separating those out into different, the sort okay. of different uh, work streams or something yep. like that within the, within the group. Yeah, no, definitely. Any other comments before I kind of move on? Uh, I just had a quick question. We sure. you talked about gathering kind of like the landscape and yep. then eventually moving towards an API. I think you, Tammy, and I talked about briefly, briefly about like sort of the first step of that though being sort of solidifying a definition, like a universal yep. definition. Yep. So kind of part of the, okay, cool. Yeah, so that, that, that would be part of the white paper. And so for, for me, like I'll be upfront, like I, I am new to this community, so I don't have a lot of understanding of kind of, you know, I know Netflix was kind of a, a original steward of um, what is like the chaos principles or something, but like I, I, I want to make sure that like whatever we do has input from everyone and we kind of have a, you know, we put forward something that doesn't kind of cause any political issues if, if, if you know, if, if I'll be blunt, like I just don't understand the community well. So I'm, I'm good at kind of gathering folks and doing things under a neutral way, but I kind of don't understand the history of the actual chaos totally. engineering community. Totally. Yeah. I just wanted to make sure that there was, there was going to be an effort to sort of, I guess, I don't know, I just yep. see solidifying a, a general sort of definition to be sort of yep. the first moving that direction. Yeah, I mean, it'll be part of the white paper, essentially, and, and like, you know, we could say, hey, here, here's what we've done based on our research um, within the community. Here's the opinion of the working group of, you know, the different values and what chaos engineering is. Awesome. And, and my whole thing is I would definitely make sure that we have end users reflected within, within the group, not just only vendors. So that's kind of a key tenant of, of CNCF. Um, any, any other thoughts? Otherwise, uh, you know, I'll kind of go into the logistics of, you know, how we're going to move forward. So, um, you know, very simply, uh, I prefer to do most of our work stream stuff just on GitHub and through Google Docs. This is kind of how it works well for 
um, other working groups within CNCF. Um, you know, I am fine kind of leading uh, all these specific things and kind of organizing, but if you're interested in, you know, helping with the white paper, uh, please ping the GitHub issue and we'll kind of start moving from there. Um, if you're interested in kind of uh, providing input to the landscape, uh, please uh, ping, ping yourself on the GitHub issue and we'll basically start collecting all this information uh, via Google Docs and kind of build this out and kind of over time, um, you know, present kind of new ideas and what we find uh, to the working group uh, every time we meet. Um, the uh, kind of structure of how we do these things within CNCF is uh, generally we'd like to meet regularly every two weeks. Uh, the way we kind of structure a meeting is, yeah, we have a brief agenda. We always like to have demos from the community. So personally for me, like I would love to see a demo of some of the work from, you know, PowerSeal, you know, Gremlin and the, the OpenABS folks, Chaos Toolkit, uh, maybe what, <coughs> what Netflix is doing from Nora. So I, I'd, you know, I'd love to kind of, us, you know, find volunteers to kind of showcase what they're doing because that's kind of how we'll learn from each other. Uh, and then just kind of updates on where we are with landscape definitions and so on, which, which CNCF will help with. So for me, uh, coming up with a time is painful. Uh, I don't know what works best. I know since we have folks with Europe involved, we generally have to do something early on the uh, Pacific time. So generally 8 or 9 a.m. I don't know if there's any strong feelings of whether we just keep this time and kind of roll with it or uh, just do another doodle poll and kind of see where we uh, end up. Um, I know I have some folks from China that want to uh, participate from <coughs> uh, Ali Cloud, uh, but um, you know it's it's hard to please everyone when it comes to timing. So, any thoughts on particular meeting times, or I'm just going to throw out another doodle poll and kind of see where it lands. Uh, Eight a.m. Pacific time sounds good, Chris. But uh, and Jeff was going to join from Bangalore, so that's perfect in the evening. Yeah. Okay. Oh, we have India in the mix too. So, okay. Yeah. <laughs> Love yeah. It. That that definitely works for me. You know. Yeah, 8 a.m. would be great. Okay. Make it work. It's so, All right. so okay, I'll, I'll throw out a doodle poll for 8 a.m. Uh, on specific days that uh, try not to conflict with any other CNCF specific things, and, and we'll just kind of land and pick a, uh, pick a day uh, and do it every two weeks. Yeah. Um, so... Uh, some other kind of small tidbits, uh, you know, so uh, yes, I'm looking for volunteers for demos. So if you're interested in uh, demoing uh, in our meeting in the next uh, two weeks, uh, let me know. Um, I think Sylvain's volunteered chaos toolkit, but I'd love to have find one more demo from the group. So please reach out to me after the call and then and we'll kind of get you scheduled. So a couple of kind of tidbits before we uh, kind of open things up for questions and kind of ideas from the group is um, the folks from Glen <coughs> Gremlin have uh, created a, uh, an event called uh, ChaosConf, which is great. You know, we love to kind of see, uh, you know, events uh, in the community kind of around specific topics because that's really how you get together. Uh, CNCF, uh, you know, uh, has sponsored the event uh, and, uh, you know, basically uh, essentially uh, donated the money for the purposes of our diversity and inclusion for scholarships. So we're super excited to support that and support the event in general. And, and thank you for Gremlin on, on putting this on. It's a bit of a challenge always to uh, put on events. It's a huge time sink. A lot of people don't realize what a, what a, what a pain in the ass it is. We just put on KubeCon last week. So we're still, we're still recovering from that. So thank you again, Gremlin. Yeah, we really appreciate the support. Thank you. Yeah. Um, so uh, hopefully we'll see a lot of folks there. Um, so, so thank you again. Um, we also have a, an event coming up in Seattle in December for the uh, cloud native CNCF and, and Kubernetes community. Um, I'm totally open having a chaos engineering or resiliency, you know, what, you know, whatever name of it, um, I'm open to essentially providing a track for this community there. So um, if people are supportive, I'll just make it happen. Um, so please, please let me know. If I don't hear anyone opposed, I'll just to make it happen <laughs> it sounds good yeah i'd be happy about that for sure cool do it awesome all right uh let's talk about some boring governance rules so uh you know the unique thing about cncf you know compared to other open source foundations we generally allow projects to basically define how they kind of run themselves right as long as it's done in a fair and transparent way and so I just basically cargo culted, you know, kind of what other working groups have done. So uh, generally, you know, you know, we're, we represent different organizations and companies here. And, you know, I'd really like us to just operate as much as possible by rough consensus. Um, if there's something that kind of flares up and, and, you know, we're not sure how to proceed and we need a vote, um, you know, we'll essentially uh, employ a rule where, uh, you know, uh, 
single organizations essentially get one vote um, associated with a specific issue. So I added, you know, kind of this policy in the governance that markdown file in the GitHub repo. Um, if you would like to be considered a maintainer, please send a pull request because uh, these are the groups of folks that we're essentially will use for, uh, for voting. So please send a PR there. We'd love to kind of add you there just for kind of uh, logistics <clears throat> and housekeeping uh, reasons. Any questions on governance or, or, or thoughts here? This has generally worked pretty well for um, other efforts within CNCF in terms of working groups. So I'd like to just kind of keep this and then move forward. Cool. Uh, I guess not hearing any objections, so I'll I'll take silence as uh, a consent that this is generally okay is, to move uh, forward with. Can there be uh, more than one person from the same organization? But uh, yeah, yeah, okay. Yeah, yeah, just yeah. You could add yourself to maintain us all, but if it comes to a vote, that organization will only get one vote. Cool. Okay. All right, so uh, yeah, so to kind of wrap things up, um, you know, uh, I'm basically gonna open it up to kind of the, you know, community here on this call to see kind of what they would wanna see, uh, any particular topics to discuss. I know Adrian has kind of mentioned separating out work streams, but I'd love to kind of hear from folks um, what they would kind of talk, talk about next. I would like to firm up uh, presentations for next meetings. So I know Sylvain has volunteered Chaos Toolkit. Is there anyone else that kind of wants to move forward and kind of do like a, it's basically a 15 minute presentation to kind of how you're doing chaos engineering or, or, or a tool that you kind of built that you'd like to share with the community to kind of get feedback and input on just to, just for learning purposes. Uh, uh, Chris, I should be able to demo some of the LinkedIn stuff. Okay. I'm, I'm willing to volunteer Tammy, but in her absence, I could definitely do it. Okay. All right. So we got, so, so we got two that that's perfect. Um, you know, essentially we'll just, I'll add it to the Google doc that lists the meeting agenda and we'll just try to get, uh, you know, two, uh, try to do a cadence of two uh, kind of community presentations uh, per, you know, per meeting for kind of the purpose of sharing uh, and learning from each other. So cool. Thank you. Um, so other than that, like uh, what, you know, what other folks, you know, out there kind of want to see from, from this effort. So like, you know, I, I see the concrete outputs being the landscape white paper and just like learning uh, what people have built. Um, you know, I'd, I'd love to kind of get feedback from folks. Otherwise, um, we could kind of end this end this call early, but uh, you know, I'm, I'm here to basically help from a CNCF perspective because this is just a super interesting topic for our membership and, and community, and we love to kind of uh, promote the pro, you know promote the practice of chaos engineering across the industry and, and, and our membership. I think there's a reference into the whatever the testing and scalability working groups. Yep. So we should be if we do this right, we'll be generating things that can be used to test Kubernetes. Yep, and that that aspect of it, and how the groups relate yep. to each other, but it seems that makes some sense. Yeah, no, no, absolutely. I mean, there'll be a time when we when we're a little bit further along that we will formally present this to the CNCF technical board slash TOC to kind of you know get it approved. Uh, I'm going to try to do that over the next uh, next probably four to four to six weeks. Um, uh, once we're kind of a little bit you know, moving along and kind of, uh, you know, have a good cadence going. Um, and then presenting to the SIGs and, you know, relevant working groups sounds, uh, sounds like a good idea, Adrian. Any other thoughts from folks on, on the um, call? If we're, if we're gathering tests or test yep. scenarios together, um, the question is, so where should they live? And yep. To what extent, if we're building a sort of repository of executable um, test cases, yep. where the user particularly, let's say, if it's, you know, Sylvain's talking about this Chaos Toolkit having yep. a library of tests. Yep. And so there'll be a sub library of those which are something to do with Kubernetes. And the question is, where, where does that live and how do we reference it or accumulate it that people can find it? That's kind of. Yeah. yeah so. Yeah, I mean, uh, ideally somewhere on GitHub, right? I would start within our, our repo, at least referencing where things may live in, in different projects and, and so on. So, um, you know, there's also discussions of us making recommendations to uh, the CNCF TOC of like, hey, maybe, um, I don't know, Paraseal or something or you know, whatever project could, could come into um, CNCF as a kind of a sandbox thing or a recommended effort or, or we just create our own project that 
uh, list these things and propose it down the road. I, I don't know, I'm all ears here. Any other comments or, or thoughts? Seems to me that we, we could do with a lot of educational mat material. So yeah. that'd be brilliant if you know various people in this community could um, come up, you know, with whatever yeah. they think is right to help so, others to actually get. So, there. <laughs> so I, I have some ideas on that in terms of uh, you know kind of once we produce. Uh, you know, a, a paper or kind of a, you know, opinion piece from the group, the CNCF uh, could help promote that, no problem. Um, I also have some very uh, fun ideas around, um, we, we kind of have these Kubernetes certification exams, and I'd have kind of have like a little selfish uh, uh, idea of adding like chaos engineering to that or like how to, how to do it, um, you know, within your systems from a uh, system administrator perspective, at least that's kind of a selfish goal of mine to uh, to, to, to push uh, later on as kind of an education uh, thing. And we also have courses that we've kind of partnered uh, with organizations like edX.org. So like if we actually wanted to do like a, a, an intro to chaos engineering and have it freely available on edX.org, that CNCF is more than happy to kind of sponsor um, that initiative. We've done that for Kubernetes, we've done that for Linux and, and other efforts. So um, that could be an idea. <clears throat> Hey, uh, one thing I wanted to mention is uh, yep. we talked about uh, the uh, the APIs and specs for actually uh, create uh, conducting the actual chaos scenario, right? Um, so are we also going to uh, come up with uh, probably uh, a structure around uh, like what are we validating out of this resiliency? Like how am I going to put up a report out of it? Like are, are my alerts firing? Are my resiliency under limits, time limits and all that? So probably some good examples around that will be helpful, I believe. Yeah, I, I mean, my first hunch is just to like, let's just catalog things and learn from each other and see how everyone else is doing stuff before going down the approach of trying to spec, spec sure. things out. We have, we have, I mean, there's quite a few presentations that I found, there's videos of them, there are others that we, we've done. So how, how do we accumulate um, links to slide yep. decks and and videos I'll, is there yeah we have a, something we should just accumulate into yeah. the working group in one of the files yeah we have a doc so i would do it in the working group proposal doc there's already kind of a landscape of like all the different projects out there but i would just create a section on presentations and other things um that would be great i, I could send it to you adrian yeah i mean i'm looking at the github site so in the okay. draft proposal doc itself yeah in the, in the proposal doc get in from there yeah i would do it there um just create a new uh, there's a section on resources. I could, you could create like a sub section or like, uh, th this, <laughs> this doc needs a little bit more love in terms of organization and so on. But I'm hoping um, as, as more people go involved, they kind of have ideas on how to structure uh, things. On the landscape side, I have a personal like, uh, how, how do people like break up these different tools? Like, you know, from, from CNCF perspective, like there's some for me that are like, Kubernetes native, there are some that maybe focus on security, like, like having an idea from the group of how they think about and how to break apart um, these different tools would be great. Because if you look at a, if you look at our serverless landscape, for example, we have uh, these kind of subsections, we have like, you know, things that are related to security tools, uh, what we call, you know, platforms, which in this case, may kind of map to like maybe hosted chaos engineering as a service things like like gremlin and, and, and chaos iq and so on so having an idea of how to like break these things apart in different areas would be super useful um for me i don't know if people have thoughts here i'm sure you do but um those are kind of things that i need to kind of uh, figure out uh to kind of move forward on, on generating a landscape and maybe we come with agreement on a group on how on how to do this properly i'm sure you have thoughts on this adrian <laughs> yeah that's fine Yeah, I'll, I'll edit various links and things okay. into the um, yep. into the resources there. Awesome. Yeah. Cool. Any other questions or thoughts, ideas? All right. Um, 
If there's no other uh, questions, um, I'll end it a little bit early to give us about 10 minutes back. Uh, I, you know, personally want to thank everyone that uh, has attended uh, this first kind of bootstrapping meeting. Um, thank you to, uh, you know, Sylvain, Tammy, uh, and other folks that have done a great job in terms of introducing new folks in this community. I think uh, this is going to be a, a super useful uh, project for a lot of us, and I kind of look forward to us, um, you know, outputting a landscape, white paper, and, and kind of bringing uh, the practice of, of chaos engineering to the wider uh, CNCF community and industry. So thank you all. And I, I'll send out a doodle poll to figure out when we're going to meet next in, in two weeks. Okay. okay. Thanks, thank Chris. Thanks, Thanks, Chris. Thank you. Thank you. All right. Please. All right. Take care all. And, thank you. Uh, thank you very much. Thanks. Thank you, everyone. Thank you. All right. Bye-bye. Thank you.